is it? shark of them all. <laughs> well, 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 Tyler. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, manager Ty. It seems our little secret has been revealed. Indeed. Indeed it has. Well, Tyler, they found out that we are brothers. What are we going to do now? I don't know. What should we do? I guess... I guess we have to answer their questions now. I heard if we don't, shooting stars are gonna come on us. <laughs> Let's answer some questions! <laughs> I asked you guys to ask some questions for me and Tyler about our childhood. Let's get started. Um, let's start with a nice wholesome one. What's our favorite memory of each other as kids? As kids? Do I have one? Do we have good memories? I just farted, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I didn't have the lactose intolerant milk this time. <laughs> my favorite would pro probably be playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards and video games with each other. I always tried to play the co-op games where I would team up with him pretty much, and he would always try to play games where he would try and destroy me. <laughs> so I always got annoyed because I always so wanted to work together, and he wouldn't ever let me. He would always want to just be so competitive. So my favorite memory um, would have to be... Hmm. There's some good memories in there. But the first thing that comes into mind is I enjoyed going to the swimming pool. Oh, yeah. And we, um, the underwater punches, like, didn't hurt at all. So we were trying as hard as we could yeah. to, like, punch each other. And it was like, oh, oh yeah. And we would, like, fake it. We'd go, like, yeah. <laughs> my, one of my favorite memories as a big brother, um, somebody, I think, texted me. This kid named John, I believe, had poured milk on Kane's head. I walked up to my teacher, I said, I have some business to take care of, I'll be right back. She said, okay, do what you need to do. And I was mad, I was fuming, just stomping, going, going, going. My friends, um, they were at that B lunch too. And they were like, Tyler, why are you here? What's going on, man? And I was, uh, I was a big, big sports player. I was a football player at the time, so I had some big friends and whatnot. Um, and they were, I was like, this kid poured milk on my brother's head, I'm about to go. I'm about to go confront him. You know, I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. I didn't use that language. My friends all just came back behind me. I walked up to the guy and I was like, it was the first time I ever cursed, I believe. I said, if you ever touch my brother again, I will beat your ass. And I felt so cool, walked out, and my friends were all ganging up on him. Do you remember that? And I was like, like crouching because I saw him with a big group. I was like crouching, <laughs> hoping they wouldn't see me because I was afraid of getting beat up because of that happening. But it was also a moment where I was super proud and felt protected. And that meant a lot to me. We used to, we used to be super close to each other. I think we're still super close now, 100% very close. It's tough being a manager and brother, 
but it also is a great relationship to have I think if we work things out um, there are times when we are able to do things that no other people could do together because we are brothers yes I mean we're spending a lot of time with each other as adults and I think that's super cool you know we're living the dream together and I think that's really cool Oliver and Sebastian had asked me to um, you know be their manager and I, I didn't realize it at the time, but Kane's dream was to become a social media content creator. And so I told him what's going on. He's like, that's like my dream. And I was like, I'm going to get Kane. I'm going to get you in there. Just trust me. And he trusted me. And then here we are living the dream together in the most beautiful places in Los Angeles, creating the best content in the world with the best fans. So definitely one of my more prouder, prouder things as well. I remember when we were at the pool. Um, I was hanging with all my friends and Sebastian and Ollie were doing a photo shoot and everyone was watching them because they was like, why are they doing a photo shoot? Like Sebastian is like, and Ollie's like <laughs> posing in the middle of the hot tub. Everyone's having fun. Yeah, there's like 20, 30 <laughs> people around. Yeah. And I'm looking at it. I was like, that's what I want to do. You yeah, know? that's when I was like, King, come on, take pictures with them. Tyler was like, hey, if you uh, want to meet the boys right now is a great chance to meet the boys. I was like, okay. I was chilling with my friends and I told them, I was like, I feel like this is the first step towards a big future. And they they knew, all of them know that it was my dream to uh, do social media content. And so they were like, you should definitely do it. I was like, I don't know. And they were really pushing me like, go, go do it, do it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So I went up to them, talked to them, and now look at where we are. Yeah, the long story short, he was in a very, very good spot in his life with college, with you know social life and all that good stuff. Like I told you guys before, you know, he wasn't the always the most cool kid now all of a sudden he was on you know the a and m club volleyball team you know on a team you know starting mm -hmm. out and you know he has so many friends and he has this girl that understood him at the time and he was just in a really good spot and then i told him about this he just bought a new car too a new mercedes convertible and it's just my like, own money i was paying it yeah. all myself too. and a lease <laughs> <laughs> and so i was like kane if you're gonna do this you're gonna drop everything i know and i was like like this, it was such a big deal for me. I was like, this is my dream. But at the same time, I have to give up so much of my life, you know? And after like a week of deciding, I was like, I was calling everyone. I was texting everyone. I was putting notes. I had like a whole journal on like pros and cons. <laughs> I was like, do I do this? Do I not do this? I don't know. Like, this is my dream. I told Kane, I, I told Kane, Kane, one, this is your dream. And two, the biggest thing that I told you was, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Know, you either join right now, or you're never going to have this opportunity again. Mm -hmm. So... I decided to join, I sold my car, went out of college, I have it on hold. I do plan on finishing it later, on my senior year, I just have a couple more classes. Mm -hmm. I was going to be a tree doctor, I was going to move trees around. <laughs> Sounds really weird. I love plants, I love nature, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, the girls all dig that you'd be like, excuse me, uh, this is a... But this the badiscus meniscus. Flower. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I could just say wh whatever, like a random flower, and I'm like, this is, this is a starry beholder, and they're like, and uh, is that an actual flower? No. Oh. <laughs> no so that's exactly what I'm saying. They wouldn't know. <laughs> they wouldn't know if it's a flower no, if it's real. So I could just make up a name. I'm like, yeah, I took a horticulture degree. This uh, is a, this is a bagatomy. Nyan, nyan, nyan. <laughs> <laughs> they go, like, oh my gosh, thank you. I love this. Ah, nyan, nyan. <laughs> Who was the most mischievous? Who? Who do you guys think? Hmm? I'll, I'll give you a story about how mischievous I was. I already know the story. <laughs> God. It's so funny to me. I was punished for something I did wrong, and but I didn't think that I should be, you know, getting the punishment for it. I was like, why isn't Tyler getting the punishment for it? Like, he's always uh, getting taken care of. He's always getting punished less than me, which is completely false, by the way. Completely <laughs> false. I thought that he was getting punished less than me, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to see uh, who gets punished more. I was sitting on the toilet at the time. There's a pen right next to me. Great we like, idea. Seven, eight? eight, yeah, seven, eight. Like eight, we're super, nine, young, really. super, yeah, yeah, young. super young. Uh, I looked at this like I literally have the greatest idea in the world. I wrote Tyler's name <laughs> on the toilet, and I'm like, there's no way that mom is gonna get me in trouble. And if she does, then my theory is proven correct. <laughs> I walked out, la -de -da -de -da. and then a couple minutes later, I heard Tyler <laughs> coming from the restroom, and I was like sneaking and trying to like see what was going on. My mom was yelling at Tyler, Tyler. Why did you write your name on the toilet? And Tyler was like, I didn't write my name on the toilet. I promise, I promise. And mom was like, who else would write their name on the toilet? Yeah. And I was like, I didn't know. I was bawling my eyes out. And then mom was like cleaning it up, I think. And mom made me clean it up, right? Yeah, yeah. Mom made me clean up. Was like, he was crying. And then later she left. And I started to feel bad. And I was like, Tyler, Tyler, I'm sorry. 
don't tell mom, but I put I wrote your name on the thing. He's like, Automatically, no! <laughs> he looked up at me. He went, no! He <laughs> starts running towards me. I was like, Tyler, no! <laughs> That's Another time, I'll give you an example of how mischievous this guy is. So basically, we were wrestling, right? And we wrestle all the time. This time, Kane bites my belly button. I was mad because he was doing that, that kicking method, you know? When he was doing <laughs> this, so I just bit him. <laughs> yeah, he bit me, and I accidentally cursed. And I, I, I went, I went <gasps> you cursed! <laughs> Cursing at the time for us was the biggest deal in our life. It's like committing a crime. It's like committing murder for <laughs> yeah. us. It was bad. I was like, <laughs> no, I didn't. And I started run, start running. I'm like, ah! Ah! Tyler cursed! I was like, he bit me! And then she was like, Tyler? <laughs> and I got punished for that. Yeah, and so. you, you know what's more funny? Um, <laughs> You're spitting. Yeah, I'm spitting. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing so hard. Our dad came up to us, and he was, he was about to give us our punishment. And when he did, he said, he was like, Kane, Tyler, I know you guys were fooling around, but that is not okay, so you need to do punishment. Kane, you need to do 100 pages. Tyler, since you're the older brother, you need to do 200 pages. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I would get punished just because I was the he older brother. He always got double the punishment that I did because he was the older brother. And then he was like, whenever you get punished, you should explain to your brother so that he understands and it's your fault if he doesn't. I know! <laughs> so I was like... And you guys wonder why I'm so dang responsible, why I act like his freaking dad. <laughs> did we both get along well? We were brothers. We were like brother brothers. We were, he was my only friend until freshman year of high school. He was the only one that I played with. He was the only person that I talked to and had fun with, went to the park with, swimming pool, all that stuff. So when he started to become popular, I was very jealous. Every time Tyler would go hang out with his friends, um, my mom would be like, Ty, you gotta bring your little brother with you. Yeah. <laughs> it was that stereotypical. I and I'd bring my little brother along. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's very true, you know. We were very, very, very close. Um, but like, I wouldn't say like, I consciously was like, I love you, brother. It was just more like, we were on the only friends and we just did everything with each mm -hmm. other. We played we were best friends Game Boys, Nintendos, and like, we would fight all the time, but like, there wasn't, I, I don't feel like there was any moment in time where we didn't talk, even if we were mad at each other. Okay, when we were children up until freshman year of high school, that's whenever we started arguing. And the reason is because I started having troubles with um, my mom. I was a teen who thought that I was like an adult, you know what I mean? You know, our parents had divorced as well, and my mother sometimes at that moment in time needed help like translating. So anytime Kane would get punished, mom would say something, Kane wouldn't understand, and I'd be like, Kane, this is what she means. Started his business at the time too. Yeah, so not only did he quit school to start a business, he was also being my dad, pretty much. And at the time, I hated that. I was like, I do not want Tyler to be my dad. I want my brother back. I want our good times. We were just having fun. And, <laughs> and I didn't know that. I never yeah. even realized that. But I needed it. If I didn't have someone like Tyler in my life, then who knows where I'd be now. You now we have North Star Boys. Exactly. I wouldn't mm -hmm. be here. Um, I have one of the best relationships with my mom right now. And I love her to death. As time grew on, I would say it started to become more of him being more like an authority older brother slash dad figure and i was becoming that super younger brother that's whenever we started getting into fights after high school things started to calm down and then we decided to start our own business and we started a trailer manufacturing business with each other and oh my god i would have to say that we had the worst relationship at that moment in time and i wanted to do a little mini trailer business oh yeah it's so a fun fact kane knows how to weld and manufacture I do. things i do in that year that we started trailers we built and sold 100 trailers. At the time, there was, I would say, around 20, 30 trailers in the front, and I was like, Tyler, those need to be sold. And at the time, Tyler never sold trailers before. Uh, on the back end, he was working hard to try and figure out how to sell trailers in the best way possible, but from the front of my eyes, all I saw was there was a million trailers out there in the front not being sold. So I was getting very upset at him. Kane just felt like I wasn't doing my part, and since we were 50-50 partners, Kane felt like he was working so hard, and I'm like, I'm bringing three or four years worth of experience. What more do you need? I felt like I was putting in a lot of work. He felt like I wasn't putting in enough work. And I would say that at, the, um, at that time, I was losing motivation. Yeah, because, you were demotivated because of it. But I wasn't putting in the time that I should have been. Or, And Tyler also, he, when he was 14, he was at the office like 24-7, like wouldn't come home. My mom had to drive him, this and that. So he was com um, comparing himself to me like, Kate, you need to be doing what I did, you know? And I'm like... Then sell my trailers! <laughs> and so we had the argument and eventually we decided it would be best not to run the business together. This is either where I continue to do the business by myself or go to college. And I decided to take the college route. 
And I feel like that was the best decision you could have made for the both of us. Our relationship got instantly better because we didn't have that tension. And you were able to live the college life that I never really had. What is something you have done that you have kept secret? Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, I have a good one, I have a good one. Uh, I don't know if you know, if you knew this or not at the time, but this was something I kept a secret from my mom that I thought Tyler knew about, but he didn't at the uh, time. So he had no idea what was so going on. Yu-Gi-Oh! was like our biggest thing. Me and Tyler played almost every single day. We had a phase where we were playing probably every single day for like a whole yes. year, like years. Yes. Yu-Gi-Oh! was huge. We had a bucket, probably this big. <laughs> and if we would have kept cards. that, it would have been worth so much money right I now. know. But yeah, we were big Yu-Gi-Oh! fanatics. One time I remember I forgot to clean up my cards, so my mom punished me. She was like, Kane, you cannot play for one whole day. And as a kid, I was like, one whole day! <laughs> and so my mom went shopping, and I was like, my, my brother was... Um, organizing his deck because strategy was like his biggest thing. I love strategizing. It was just like deck building. How am I going to beat Kane? <laughs> if I do this, put this card in there, it's going to counter this card. And so he was and like, Kane is the luckiest person I know in everything. Kane is super lucky. I got, I'm the year of the rabbit, year of the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember uh, he was building his deck. I was like, I have to play. I have to play. How can I play? Oh, I have a great idea. And at the time, as a kid, I was like, this actually works. Like, I'm actually being super smart about this. I go up to Tyler. I was like, hey, Ty. Let's play a practice game. And Tyler was like, yeah, sure, why not? So we started playing, and my mom comes back from chopping, and I'm trying to cover the you hold like, it's big. Like, like yeah. what we're playing, it's a huge surface. So I'm like trying to cover it, and I'm like, hey, mom, how's it going? She's like, Kane, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, don't worry, mom. Me and Ty, we decided that this is a practice game, not a real game. So I'm actually not really playing the real Yu-Gi-Oh cards. My mom looked at me like like one of those looks where it's like, my kid is the dumbest <laughs> kid on earth. Like she just gave me that look. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, it's a practice game. You can't get me in trouble. I feel like somehow you got in trouble for that too. Probably. <laughs> uh, I don't keep secrets. The only secrets I ever kept were when I tried to like hide an iPad or Yu-Gi-Oh from my mom just so I could play a little game, you know? But other than that, I never really had any big secrets. Do you think you two have similar personalities? Um, Absolutely not. <laughs> every single time we've taken a personality test, we've gotten almost the exact same thing. Wait, are you uh, a, a maverick? maverick? You're a maverick? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm a maverick ENFP, same as him. ENFP? Yeah. Shoot, Yeah, really? I know, I know, exactly. Oh. And every time I mention it to him, he gets so pissed off. He's like, <laughs> I am not the same as Kane! <laughs> he hates it so much. And like... I want to be different also, but at the same time, I love seeing him get like upset about that. <laughs> so it's so funny to me. Tyler would have to retake it three times to try and get a different one, but he would always get the same yeah, one. Yeah, because you know I'm authentic. I want to be true, but I was like, maybe I didn't really understand this question. <laughs> maybe if I perceived it in this way, the answer would be this. And yeah, always, yeah. I made it a goal for myself. There ain't nobody gonna ever tell me that. I treat my brother, you know, softer or better than everybody else just because he's my little brother. No, I beat the crap out of him. I know, like Reggie just came up to me a couple times. He's like, hey, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> I push him the hardest. Uh, push him so hard. Uh, I'm but lucky. it's paid off. It's paid off 100%. I'm lucky. I need this, you know, I need that in a person um, to be able to push me towards my dream. And he put me in my dream and I needed to put the work in and he helped me with the work also. Yeah, we're, we're living the dream. We are living the dream. Living the dream. Ah, together. 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 <laughs> uh, who would have thought as kids I would not have dreamed that we would have moved out to LA together. Right? 22, 23 years yeah. old. Like that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're an amazing brother. Oh, uh, you too. Oh, I love you. I never really say that. It's hard for us to say that, I think. But I love you. I love you too. Oh, oh, oh shut up. Oh. <laughs> 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 If you guys haven't already, please follow my Twitter. I will be doing more Q&As later. If you guys have a brother or sister, please tell them that you love them. I know it's super hard. They came into your life. You don't have a choice sometimes that they live with you. But brothers and sisters are pretty awesome. They can be your best friends. And like my brother, he's treated me with the world. And sometimes I'm not grateful. And it's um, it sucks sometimes. Because okay, guys, I'm going to pretend to be Ollie real quick. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and Turn on post notifications! That was the first time I was part of that. Really? Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs>